Hi Crystal Robinson, it's Andriana Wee, Lady Sapphire, and today we are going to do a, uh, I guess a curl tutorial on my curls, as you requested. Um, and with, we're working with uh, your hair, and um, for young girl, girls and young dudes, we want to do the curly look. And really don't know how to do them do it by themselves with CP so we're gonna get started you want to be able to um, wash your hair pick out your product and use a wide tooth comb how did I start um, doing my hair I started doing my hair when I was 11 or 12 years old. I've been at it for a while. And it takes time. Anybody who learns anything, it takes time. Um, my dad is German and my mother is Mexican and black and my, my dad is German and he's also black. He's a black man. We also have, you know, that's you have to have curly roots in your in your family or your heritage to have curly hair. Everything in my hair is natural, from my hair product to um, everything. I love using mixed tricks and I love using um, olive oil. So I've already washed it and I've combed out a section, which is a section. And when you comb it, you always want to start at the bottom and work your way up. And the CP that I was diagnosed with is called hemplasia, and I have spastic and atastic CP. And the hemplasia part of it is with when one side of your body isn't as strong or as functional as the other side. So in this case, my left hand is stronger than my right. So I'll use my left hand as a base and I'll just keep going or I'll use my right hand. I'll use both hands to do, do the motions because you don't want to rip out your hair but you always want to start at the bottom so you just keep going until you want to brush it so damp not wet and you don't want to go to sleep with a wet head so uh, use a hair dryer or air dry And see, it's pretty, right? Long hair, long pretty curls. Very pretty. So, <laughs> you, after you comb it out and you conditioned it with conditioner. You can take the top part of your head and start, um, I've already sectioned it off and you can section it into two parts. I wonder if you guys can see the part I did back of my head. So you want to take the comb and you want to go all the way back all the way back and comb start top and comb all the way back and do one two three there's one I didn't do a part yet. I didn't do a part but it parted enough to where this is 
equal parts. See? One section at a time. I sectioned it off perfectly fine. So, take all of one of the hair and just take it into two sections like this. And you can do it into four if you want to. Okay. Four sections is like this. One. That's one part of your hair. I'll just show you one braid. One braid. See? See? Beautiful. Now you guys know what we do on the weekends when we're bored and our boyfriends don't call us and whatever. <laughs> we do our hair and go out and get cute for no reason. <laughs> it's fun. What do y'all play basketball all day? Play video games? <laughs> play basketball? Watch inappropriate things on TV? Talk about obnoxious things. We do our hair. <laughs> this is one braid. And you're just gonna keep doing it in sections. Like this. See? You're gonna keep doing it. This is one. This is two. I'm just gonna keep doing it the way I want to. I love my hair. Oh, it's going natural. And if you have nice curly hair, flaunt it. There's nothing wrong with the weave. But my mom always says if you have it, it's sacred and you keep it, you know, keep it clean and keep it beautiful. Like every woman should be. Hey, there's my cat on my arm. <laughs> Looking out the window as usual. That's what he does. Everything. He's a, he's the only he's the only little boy in the house. So it's fun. And if you want to, you can twist both of them. Both the two braids and make one big braid. See? No problem, man. This is a twisty. That's why I'm going twist and let go. It'll hold on its own if it's, if it's tight. <laughs> Loose, these are loose. Okay, and you just want to do the other side, the right, the same way. You want to take all the hair on this side and do the exact same motion. We're gonna start slow, and we're gonna do the little nappy parts, cause hair isn't perfect. It likes to be mean, to be, be nice to your hair, love your hair, take care of your body. You come first, then whatever activity, you come first. Your body comes first. Don't over-exaggerate yourself. You're beautiful. <laughs> over, I mean... Over exert, that was not the word I was trying to make. Over exert yourself. Which means you don't want to make yourself tired and not have the strength that you need to carry on throughout your day. 
See how when you straighten when you straighten your hair to comb your hair it's very long. It's like to, to here now. I'm excited. How often do I get my hair done in the salon? I get it done um twice um a month. Mainly at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year. And this year I got it done at the beginning of the year so I let it rest. And it's good to do your hair like you do your nails and if you're a female you know that um if you're a do too you, you you do your hair like you do your haircut like you go to the salon or you go to the barber shop every every two weeks or maybe the first of the month when you get your check or maybe you're on a Friday when you want to go out with your boys or when you want to go out with your girls so you get cute or you can just get, get cute whatever but um I like when you do your hair when it's your time so we're just going to take the hair and we're going to do that. I'll explain more. But it's so it's really self-explanatory. And you can um have your um loved ones help you. Or you can use a mirror and you can practice. I recommend that you practice with someone that you trust and who can help you fix your hair when you really need to. Um, practice when you're bored. That's what I did. I used to not listen to my mother and I just didn't like doing my hair. I was a tender-headed child. I didn't like my hair one bit and my mom just got tired of it and she's like, okay, well, if you're going to act like a little you know, not a kid, but this one wanted to get her hair done, then you can just do it yourself. <laughs> so, you have to learn. <laughs> ah, those kids that always want to throw a tantrum, when, okay, well, not tantrum, but disagreement when, um, but I like, I like that, so it's fun, it's fun. Makes you feel so nice and clean. Um, so you straighten it and do your curls, two sections and do one, I'm going to start in the back and then I'll do the front. Maybe it's, let me just do the, and let me just see in the, and let me just all, uh, you can twist it, and twist, 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 and I am done for the day for today so my hair is not perfect but it's okay because in the morning I'm going to show you what to do with it if you're gonna wake up at 5 in the morning with me and watch the, the video again but stay tuned for, for part 2 this is only part 1 1 so um, let me get my bro get my comb because it fell on the floor. But this is part one. So, right, part, in part one, we discussed that we always use a wide tooth comb, a nice brush. And nice 
nice hair product or styling gel. Um, and your hands and a scrunchie. And you always want to start at where? The bottom. Because you always don't want to stress out your hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for part two. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye, Crystal. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, everybody. And this is Lady Sapphire, model, poser, motivational speaker with cerebral palsy.